Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be looking at more examples from the chapter 13.3, which is about the R formula. Okay, so in example 2, we're asked to find the maximum and minimum values of 2 sine x plus cosine x and the corresponding values of x. Okay, whereby x, the range of x is given to be between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to realize that this is in the form, okay, the given function is in the form of the R formula that is highlighted in yellow over here. Okay, so let us first write out the function and identify our parameters. So we have 2 sine x plus cosine x, okay, and so our given parameters should be a equals to 2 and uh, b is equals to 1. Okay, where did the 1 come from? There's actually a imaginary one over here okay if you can't see it so using these parameters let us work out our r so r is square root of a square which is 2 square plus b square which is 1 square and uh, this works out to be square root of 5 next the tangent of alpha is given to be b over a which is half okay and therefore alpha is just tangent inverse half okay we can round this off to uh Okay, let me just erase this. We can round this off to roughly twenty six point six degrees. Okay, to one decimal place. Next, let us write the given function out in the form of the or rather using the R formula. So we have R, which is square root five, sine of x plus alpha okay, i'm just going to leave it as it is for now as, as it is for now because i will move on to solve for the maximum and minimum values as well as the corresponding values of x so for the maximum value okay this will occur when the function over here which i will highlight in yellow okay this will happen when the sine function gives me a positive one value why is this so okay let me show you some let me show you that the sine function, okay, the sine of let's say theta is always between 1 and negative 1. Okay, for those who prefer a graphical approach to this, the sine graph looks like this, and the sine graph is always between 1 and negative 1. Okay, the general sine graph. So y equals to sine theta. Okay, it always looks between 1 and negative 1. Therefore, the maximum value will occur when the sine, or rather this highlighted function, gives me a positive 1. So the max value occurs when this is a positive 1, and therefore the max value is just the square root of 5. Okay, let us then work out the corresponding values of x. So just now we mentioned that this, the maximum value occurs when this is equals to 1. So to find out what is x, I will just take the sine inverse, sine inverse okay of 1 and therefore x should just be the sine inverse of 1 minus alpha okay pressing this into my calculator i will just end up with uh, 63.4 degrees okay so this is where the maximum values the maximum value occur how about the minimum value? Okay, maybe I should use a different color for the minimum value. Okay, so the minimum value. Okay, this occurs when the sine function is at the negative 1 position, okay, or negative 1. Okay, so pressing this into my calculator, the minimum value should occur at, or rather should be negative square root of 5. Okay, and as per discussed earlier, this happens when the sine of x plus alpha is equals to negative 1. Okay, and for this portion of the question, we will have to draw upon our knowledge of the ASTC diagram. Okay, so let me just sketch a rough one here over here. Over here. 
so ASTC and recall that the sine function is negative in the tangent as well as the cosine quadrant okay so we are going all the way to here and this is actually my x plus alpha okay so using okay drawing in my right angled triangle I will I shall identify my okay I can I shall identify my basic angle or reference angle okay which is this red colored um, angle over here okay so let me call the reference angle let's call it beta okay because alpha has already been used so beta should be sine inverse of 1 okay we, should, we can actually calculate to be 90 degrees okay so moving on okay let us work out our x so x plus alpha should be equals to 180 degrees plus beta okay and therefore x is just 180 degrees plus beta which is 90 degrees minus alpha and working this out on our calculator we'll just arrive at x equals to 243.4 degrees okay to one decimal place same for this one over here to one decimal place Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this example. Let's move on to look at more, um, start on another example. Okay, so in example number three, we are asked to find all the angles between zero degrees and 360 degrees, degrees which satisfy the equation two cosine x minus five sine x equals to 3.1. Now, if I were to stare at this, on the, if I were to stare at the left hand side of this equation, I will realize that it is similar to the highlighted equation over here so what I'm going to do is to as per usual identify our parameters so in this case a is 2 and b is 5 okay b is 5 so I the next thing I want I want to do is to work out what's my r so r will be square root of a square 2 square okay plus b square which is 5 square okay, and uh, working this out I'll just arrive at square root of 29 yeah, I'll just leave it as it is for now. As for the tangent of alpha, okay, it is actually b over a, which is 5 over 2. And then I will have my alpha to be tangent inverse 5 over 2. Okay, so simplifying what's on the left-hand side of the equation, I will arrive at r, which is square root 29. The cosine of x plus, okay, take note that it's a plus because over here, let me just uh, highlight this. Okay, so over here, because I'm dealing with the negative sign, I'm dealing with the negative sign. Okay, as you can see, the negative sign over here. Therefore, I should be using a plus or a positive sign sign on the right hand side of the equation. Okay, so this should be x plus alpha equals to 3.1 okay so working this out a little further so cosine of x plus alpha equals to 3.1 over square of 29 okay and uh, at this point in time I realized that since the cosine gives me a positive value using our ASTC diagram we can either be in the a quadrant okay the a quadrant or the cosine quadrant since cosine is a positive value so this angle here is actually my x plus alpha. Okay, so let me work out my basic angle. And uh, in this case, we will call our basic angle beta, okay, since alpha that has already been used. Okay, so beta, which is my basic angle, should be cosine inverse of 3.1 over square root 29. Okay, I'll work this out later. Okay, but for now, let me identify the other possibility. So the other possibility would be over here. Okay, whereby we are into the cosine quadrant, and this is my x plus alpha. Okay, and similarly, let me identify my beta, which is over here. Okay, so going back to the question or the equation, my x plus alpha is just beta or 
360 degrees minus beta. And therefore, x should just be beta minus alpha or 360 degrees minus beta minus alpha. Okay, now if you're thinking that we're done, then you will realize that you're going to face a problem because the first value gives us a negative value, okay, whereas the other, the, um, the value at the back gives me 236.9 degrees. And if I were to look carefully, okay, this answer is wrong because we are out of the range of x, okay. Recall that the range of x is between 0 to 360 degrees, okay. So this answer that I've circled in red is wrong, okay. And actually, there is another answer which we have missed out, okay. So in order to illustrate that, okay, let me just uh, erase what I've written so far on the on the ASTC diagram. Okay, recall that if the range of x is between 0 to 360 degrees, then the range of x plus alpha, okay, by adding alpha throughout this inequality, should be between alpha and 360 degrees plus alpha. Okay, so we can actually go one full circle, okay, or one full round, which is 360 degrees, and following that, another uh, slightly more, okay, than, uh, than what is uh, given, okay. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is to realize that we can actually go one more round, okay, and uh, what, what we will identify, okay, this to be my x plus alpha, okay, and similarly, my beta will be this red angle over here. Okay, so the case that we have missed out is actually, okay, let me use a different color. The case that we have missed out is actually 360 degrees plus beta, okay, okay x, equal, x plus alpha equals to 360 degrees plus beta, and this works out to be x equals to 360 degrees plus beta minus alpha. And keying the values of beta and alpha in your calculator, this will give me 346.7 degrees. Okay, and therefore, the final answers for x will be 236.9 degrees or 346.7 degrees, okay, to one decimal place. Okay, I hope this wasn't too confusing for you, okay, because this is the most difficult of all the examples so far. And uh, we've come to the end of, on the video on the R formula. So just to summarize, this is the R formula. Okay, you can pause the video here and take, take it down if you haven't so far. And also just to highlight, please take note of the conditions for the R formula. Okay, A should be greater than zero, same similarly for B. And then alpha, okay, should be an acute angle, which is something that's less than 90 degrees. Okay, so before I leave, just want to leave you with some practice questions. And finally, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, for more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see you for now.